everyone welcome to dress my craft this is design team member jayshree this side today i am sharing with you all a process tutorial on creating a beautiful home decor shadow box perfect for this christmas but before we begin please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us I am going to be using the very gorgeous Christmas bells pattern paper from Dress My Craft for this project. This pattern paper is very rustic and yet gives you all the Christmas feels. To start with, I have made a box lid using a black cardstock. I have cut pattern paper to fit inside the box. I am now using Distress Oxide ink in the color Festive Berries to ink the edges of all my pattern paper pieces. Once done, I am adhering them in their places using liquid glue. You may also use tacky tape for this. from one of the pattern papers. I am now going to adhere them in such a way that they appear to be dimensional. For this, I am cutting small strips of white cardstock and folding them in half. I am adhering one side on the back of the pattern paper and the other side on the bottom base of the box. And here our first dimensional layer is done. For the second and third one I am adhering some strips of chipboard on top of each other to create a gap between the first layer and the second one. I am now adhering the other side of the chipboard on the back of the first layer. I am going to repeat the same for the third layer as well. Next, I have here some die cutouts made using reindeer and Christmas tree die set from Dress My Craft. I have die cut the trees using foam and reindeer using cardstock. I am adhering two together to have some extra dimension. I am adding some darker tone of green using the Distress Oxide ink in the color Frayed Burlap. I am now adhering all the die cuts in their places using liquid glue.
next i have here a big christmas tree die cut out made using the season's greetings die set from dress my craft i am layering two foam cutouts on a gold card stock cutout for added dimension moving on i am going to decorate the christmas tree using sweet candies and carnival candies shaker elements from dress my craft I am also using say it with hearts sequence. Press my craft has a wide variety of shaker elements to choose from. So don't forget to check out the website for the same. Also, the list of all the supplies used in this video is given in the description box below. So do check that out. Decorating the tree, I am adhering it in its place using glue. Now the Christmas is absolutely incomplete without a Santa and of course the snowman. So I am adhering them in the same way I adhered the second layer of the snow pattern. on i have here cutouts made with christmas strings die i am going to adhere this on the top of the box next i have made some vellum poinsettias flowers using the poinsettia die set from dress my craft i am adhering them in the top right corner inside the box now while i adhere these poinsettia flowers why don't you give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying watching this tutorial wonderland then there has to be a lot of snow so to create a fall snow effect i am mixing some light paste with frosted sugar powder and applying it randomly in the background on the trees in the front as well as on the flowers stones in the front for a little more texture of snowballs and stones last but not 
not the least, I am adding some clear sequence here and there in the background for some added sparkle and shine. Our winter wonderland is ready. I hope you liked the tutorial and are inspired to make your own 3D shadow boxes in different themes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already before you go. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.